students often hit a wall when they get to algebra. They go along through number and operations, they learn geometry, and then when they get to algebra, it's as if they have to climb this cliff. We tried to write the standards so that there's a ramp up to the top of that cliff. We started all the way back in kindergarten thinking about what it is that kids are doing with number that prepares them for algebra. And that's why we made this choice to separate out what is traditionally just being a number and operations strand into two domains, operations and algebraic thinking, which is where kids learn about how operations work. For example, that's where they learn that subtraction is really the solution to a missing at end problem. So there's that relationship between addition and subtraction. Later on, they learn that there's a similar relationship between multiplication and division. That domain is the one that's leading them up to expressions and equations in middle school. At the same time, there's this number and operations in base 10 domain, which is where they're learning to compute and do addition and subtraction, as distinct from understanding the operation itself. They're learning how to do the calculation. That's important to build number sense and to build facility. That's the one that leads into this number system domain in middle school. Fractions come in in a very important way in third grade. Fractions are another aspect of this ramp up to algebra because if you think about it, when kids start working with fractions, they're almost doing algebra with numbers, really. They see a fraction 3 over 4 and they have to add it to 4 fifths. It's almost as if they're adding A over B to C over D. They see those operations starting to play out and how they work with numbers as a sort of rehearsal for doing it with letters when they get to algebra.